Here's a check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced $10 million in grants awarded to localities across the state to support emergency response operations. Those 2018-19 grant funds will allow municipalities in 57 counties in New York City to make improvements to their 911 response and emergency service dispatch operations. The funding is administered by the Division of Homeland Security and Emergency Services through Public Safety Answering Points and Operations Grant. Dutchess County Executive Mark Molinaro has invited residents to share their input. The Department of Community and Family Services is holding a public hearing on the county's 2018-2022 Child and Family Services Plan. The forum, which is open and free to the public, will be held on Tuesday, August 28th from 4 till 6 p.m. at the Department of Behavioral and Community Health Training Room, 230 North Road in Poughkeepsie. The public hearing will provide information about services DCFS offers and how those programs can be accessed. Residents will have the opportunity to raise issues and offer ways to improve the delivery and provision of those services. Residents' comments and the issues they raise will be crucial for the development of the 2018-22 Child and Family Services Plan, according to Molinaro. The Dutchess County Fair continuing its run at the Dutchess County Fairgrounds. It's open from 10 to 10 and then Sunday, 10 to 11 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. More information, duchessfair.com or 845-876-4000. From 3 till 7, the Guild of Berkshire Artists Annual Fine Art Show opens at the historic 1854 Old Town Hall, 9 Main Street in West Stockbridge. The show runs Thursdays through Sundays until September 2nd. Hours are Thursdays and Fridays from 3 to 7, Saturdays 11 till 6 and Sundays 11 until 3. The Sunset Music Series continues at the Canaan VFW. Live music, food, vendors, a car, and motorcycle cruise. It runs from 7 until 9 p.m. Nathaniel hints music. There's one more week to go next week. Two guys in suits and ties. New for 2018, the Bidwell House Museum has developed a tour for families with children 12 and under. On August 24th, visitors could learn about the history of the Bidwell House and what it could have been like to have been a child in the house in the 18th century. Children are invited to ask questions, make observations, and participate in two easy activities. $10 for adults, $8 for seniors, $5 for students 13 through 18, free for children under 12, accompanied by their adults. The Norfolk Library is hosting a fundraising auction with a tropical theme August 24th from 6 to 8 p.m. A silent auction while tropical hors d'oeuvres, champagne, wine, and drinks are served. Auctioneers then hit the stage. Corsica, Jackson Hole, Hilton Head, South Carolina are among the lead getaways offered this year. Tickets are $35 at the door. Donations support the library's many free special events, films, concerts, book discussions, and children's programs. Melancholy, Desire, and Joy. Sonatas by Corelli, Handel, and Bach will be the opening program for Crescendo's 2018-19 season. Performance is scheduled for Friday, August 24th at 6 p.m. at St. James Place, Main Street in Great Barrington, and August 25th at 4 p.m. at the United Methodist Church on Main Street in Lakeville. Tickets and more information online at worldclassmusic.org. In Cornwall, a town meeting will be held August 24th at 7.30 to approve authorization for the Board of Selectmen to enter into a license agreement with Eversource Energy for the public use of approximately three acres of land known as the Bend on the west side of Lower River Road in West Cornwall. The funds are coming through the Housatonic River Commission, which received a grant from the settlement by General Electric for its pollution of the river with PCBs many years ago. The plan is for Eversource to continue ownership with the town taking over the maintenance once the improvements are done by the HVA. The upgrade includes constructing a parking lot, improving access to the river, and installing a portable toilet. The town also will be able to use a portion of the property that is adjacent to the Hughes Library, which abuts the land being improved. Tractor Supply Company in Amenia is hosting a pet adoption, pet supply drive, and more on Saturday, August 25th as part of Out Here with Animals. It's a month-long event for animals of all kinds and people who care for them. On Saturday from 10 till 4, community members and their dogs, cats, pigs, goats, and more invited to make their way to the Amenia Tractor Supply to support local pet adoptions. Participating local organizations include Happy Farm Animal Rescue on site from 10 until 2, Godspeed on site from 2 until 4. The community and their leash friendly animals are invited to check out Tractor Supply on Saturday. 
Blue Rider Stables 24th Annual Fun Day is Saturday at the French Park, North Egremont from 10 to 4. Free fun games, activities including free pony rides, hay rides, a bounce house, crafts, and much more. Refreshments will be available, and there'll be a silent auction until 3 p.m. More information at bluerider.org. Music Mountain Festival has a community event, Painting Music at the Mountain. Children and adults of all ages are welcome to participate in a festive community event on Saturday at 1130 for individual and collaborative drawing and painting session. A picnic will follow at 1230. This all starts at 1130. Participants are asked to bring their own food and drinks. In addition, Music Mountain Concession Stand will be open to serve coffee, tea, ice cream, and other goodies. At 1 p.m., an hour-long free concert at Garden Hall will wrap up the event featuring the Cassette String Quartet and Music Mountain Artistic Director Oscar Espina Ruiz. Since space is limited for the hands-on session at 1130, participants are asked to reserve their spot by calling 860-824-7126. Music Mountain is, of course, located on Music Mountain Road in Falls Village. On Saturday from 2.30 to 5.30, there'll be an opening reception for the Guild of the Berkshires Art Show and Sale at the Historic Town Hall in West Stockbridge. More than 30 artists showing their latest works in a wide variety of visual media. Discovering our founders, sculptor and artist Willard Dryden Paddock, the Kent Art Association, continuing the celebration of its 95th anniversary, 1923 to 2018, presenting the fourth lecture in its series, Discovering Our Founders, on sculptor and artist William Dryden Paddock on Saturday, August 25th at 3 p.m. at the Kent Association Art Gallery in Kent, Connecticut. Husband and wife artist Deborah Chabrain and Ed Martinez, who currently reside at the Paddock's former home and studio in South Kent, and who have done extensive research on Paddock, will discuss his life and work. There will be a Q&A after the talk and light refreshments will be served. The gallery is located at 21 South Main Street in Kent. More information at 860-927-3989 or kent.art.association at net, or visit their website at kentart.org. On Saturday, Crescendo presenting a chamber concert featuring harpsichordist Crescendo Artistic Director Christine Gevert and internationally renowned flautist Rodrigo Terraza playing the Baroque Travesero. The concert opens their 2018-19 season. It will be held at 4 p.m. at the Lakeville Methodist Church on Main Street. Tickets are $35, $60 for premium seating, $10 for students under 18. Purchased online at worldclassmusic.org. Of course, Crescendo is a 501c3 not-for-profit organization. The second Lakeville Summer Arts Show will happen on Saturday, August 25th, 5 till 7 p.m., featuring all three Lakeville galleries, the White Gallery, Craven Contemporary, and Argazi Art, accompanied by your friends and neighbors. It's a chance for you to immerse yourself in the varied and beautiful art available in Lakeville, walking past the gardens which were created by the Lakeville Community Conservancy. Know that a portion of the proceeds from the show benefit the continued efforts to beautify the community. As usual, refreshments will be served. Join Columbia Land Conservancy and the Chatham community from 5.30 to 8.30 on Saturday at Ooms Conservation Area on Rock City Road to celebrate the end of summer with a free backyard block party. They'll have guided full moon walk, yoga at the gazebo, and food from Main Street Goodness, Bimmy's Cheese Shop, and a beer from Chatham Brewing. Find out more at clctrust.org. The gallery at Rhinebeck will hold its second annual paint out auction benefiting the nonprofit's arts organization. Artists will create works at the Dutchess County Fair over the span of three days. You can check them out while they work at the fair on the last day on Saturday. The artworks will be auctioned at an evening event. The auction has $10 donation at the door. Anybody in attendance may bid paddles provided. Refreshments are provided during the preview, which begins at 6. The auction begins at 7 p.m. More information at gallerywinebeck.org. The Auxiliary of the Wasaic Fire Company will sponsor a breakfast and bake sale on Sunday from 8 until 11. Prices are $8 for adults, $7 for seniors, $5 for children age 9 and under. The breakfast will be held at the Wasaic Firehouse on Firehouse Road. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgans at the Interlaken, interlakenin.com, and by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 88.69 to 25,733.60 yesterday. The NASDAQ starts off today at 7,889.10, and the S&P 500 at 2861.82. 
We'll take a look at the tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few moments.